candle room. Always throw a little bleach on the floor, you know, so I can kind of get up more of the germs than just water. Water gonna get it all up. I'll pour a little bleach on the ground, man, and then just kind of sweep it up. Right in the middle of the floor. Up, man. When you're using bleach, man, make sure you wear a mask and shit. Some goggles, open some windows. Because that bleach is no joke, bro. That bleach is no joke, ladies and gentlemen. I don't pour no bleach over where the kennels are at. So when they go in the kennels, that shit don't, you know, that shit don't kind of rub off on they, on their stomachs. That bleach gets to sitting on their stomach or something, man. That probably give them some rashes. So I make sure I wash the the floor real good, and I never put bleach inside their kennels. I will, will remove their kennels, spray it down with bleach, and then wash it down. But where they lay at, I will not put no bleach in there. We're not putting no bleach in there unless, unless they have pooped or pissed in their kennel, then I will clean it with bleach. But it uh definitely get washed a few times, man. So I do not like my dog's coats or they undercarriage and stuff, you know, messed up. These are flash bullies, man. They gotta always look like flash bullies. They gotta always look flashy. That's me. And I built this little contraption over here, man. I'm putting another water spout in here. I just use where the main drain is, I mean, where the main uh, water inlet is, I just kind of tapped into it with like a, uh, with a copper, with a uh, three quarter inch copper line. This right here is that flex hose. It's about 50 feet. I mean, you know, I don't even need that much down here. I could have gotten like a 25 feet or a 10 foot or something, you know, they stretch out, so it's definitely good. I put this spigot on there. This is shark bite spigot. That way I can turn the water on and off when I'm down here washing. That bleach started poking my eyes, so let me hurry up and wash it out.
definitely. Always, man. Keep your kennel area clean. If your kennel area ain't clean, your dog risk catching bacteria, infections, catching bacteria, uh, diseases. My kennels are set up. Like I said before, they all had uh, bottoms in them. They tore them up. They tore up the bottoms in there. Still have a few. They hurt themselves more than helping themselves. You know what I mean? They don't chew them up, made sharp edges, sharp parts in them. So I didn't want them to cut them themselves. So I took it out. Y'all stay tuned, man, because this floor is going to get redone here pretty soon. I'm about to get this floor redone. I may even uh, paint the walls. Slap my logo up on the wall or something. You know. Just kind of hook it up, man. <clears throat> this right here, man, is where we keep all the waste. You make sure you want to get a uh, trash can, man, with a latch on there. Get a trash can with a latch on it. That definitely gets sprayed down once a month. Or I'm going to say probably twice a month. This damn thing gets sprayed down. Clean with bleach. It's definitely overdue. But I just cleaned the inside. I didn't clean the outside. Before I changed that bag. <clears throat> the bag don't fill up too quick. Because my dogs don't usually shit in the uh, house. So it don't fill up too quick, but if you're going to do that, man, I recommend you get one that is a lock seal. That way the smell stays on the inside. It doesn't come on the outside. And occasionally I'll dump some bleach in there to kind of kill off bacteria and things like that. This bucket here. food man I got a couple bags of dog food sitting over there this dog food man you got to keep it filled up that's the perina in there definitely got to keep it cleaned up man keep it uh together make sure you wash your toys and stuff too man your dog toys make sure you wash that shit I just try to spray a little bleach on it and try to wash it like that. You know, make sure you wash it all the way off, man. You definitely need to keep them clean as well. That goes in their mouth. And if it has bacteria on there, guess what? Bacteria is in there, in their mouth as well. Turn the fan on so it can dry. So it can dry the area up, man. Open the window. Let it dry the floor and shit. And get them fed. All my dogs eat together, man. Like a family. That's what we are. We are a family. So we eat together. I 
do not measure. I always free feed. I bought this dog full, so it don't matter to me. I free feed my dog, man. The way they get full, they eat enough. They won't eat no more. They won't eat no more. I need to hit up uh, Champ Works. I need to get some uh, some supplements for them. Some supplements and some vitamins for them. Like I say, I just free feed, man. I don't do no measuring. I buy this dog food, so y'all can call it a waste or whatever, but it's mine. Now let me go let the dogs in. They've been outside, man. Have to come clean up their area. One day they gonna come down here and this floor gonna be done. You're not gonna know what to do, man. You're not gonna know how to act. This floor will be dry in no time. So while they down here eating, the floor dry. Got the windows open and the uh, fan on. We gonna let the dogs in. Downstairs. 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 Good dogs. Like I said before, all my dogs will eat together. We family. There's definitely going to be a couple growls. No fighting. We don't never do no fighting. What up, what up? It's your boy, Mr. Flash Bully. You already know, man. I'm down here in the kennel area, man, with the bulls. Letting them eat. But one thing I want y'all to do, man, like, subscribe, man, and share. Tell your friends. Share it with your friends. Share it on your Facebook, man. Y'all can follow me on Facebook at Flash Bully Kennel. IG at Flash Bully Kennel. If you want to talk to me, email me, man. At Flash Bully Kennel at gmail.com, man. Hit me up. It's your boy, Mr. Flash Bully.